In this video, we're off on another collection caper. But uh, it's not for me. It's for my friend Tim of Cambrian Classics Limited. He'll be along in a moment. We're just waiting here roadside for him. We're offering assistance today. I've got the, the compressor on board and hopefully Giselle can carry some spares. Uh, we're off to collect two cars and a whole world of spares. So Tim will be along with a car trailer momentarily and then we'll go and see what he's bought and what sort of state they're in. And can we get them rolling? Because they've sat for 10 years and can we even get one started? If we have time, we will have a go, but uh, the main focus will be get them to Tim's so he can work out what on earth to do with them. So if you know Tim, you can probably work out what it's going to be, but uh, it should be fun nonetheless. So we can't film at the property we're going to today, or not on the outside anyway. So um, we're going to go straight from this sexy lay-by to the inside of the garages where the vehicles are stored. So I'm just waiting for Tim uh, to come along in his tow vehicle with trailer. Yeah, it's going to be that sort of mission. We're not going to be driving anything home because like I say, they've been sitting for 10 years and uh, this looks like it might be uh, Tim approaching now. There he is in the trusty uh, Volvo XC70 with car trailer. So uh, it should be fun times. Let's go and have a quick chat and find out what we're doing today. So, Hello. good morning. Morning. So what are we collecting today then? More rust. More rust. Yeah. I know a lot about rust. Yeah. Two MGs. Okay, so you have yeah. seen them? I've seen them. I've seen them and we've got lots of tools. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be fun to see if we can get these things even yeah. rolling. So see if uh, the GSA will pull something now. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a good test. So uh, next time you see us, we'll be in the garage where the magic lies. So here we are. And the first glimpse of a very sad, very late chrome bumper MGB on an end plate. Gosh. Blimey. Maybe crispy. He's got a hard top though. That's quite unusual. We may have some clearing up to do. Let's see if we can get this thing out. So Jeremy, who works for uh, Tim at Cambrian Classics, is bravely trying to get the uh, pads out because unsurprisingly things are a bit rusty. You can't fix it with a hammer, you can't fix it at all. But yeah, this poor thing is a little bit on the uh, crispy side. So Tim's digging out the wheels because uh, she's currently up on Six bricks. Wheels, five wheel car. Yeah, yeah, well hope hopefully some of them hold air. I wouldn't bank on it. Yeah. It'll feel pretty soft to me. I thought I was just here to document, but I've been put to work. While well, attempts to dig out the MGB continue. So Timby's already digging out treasure. You have an aluminium bonnet off of an early car. There's a few dents in it, unfortunately. Ah, oh, that's so a shame. It might be uh, salvageable. It's not too bad across the arc. A ripple at the back there. Yeah, I didn't realise the early ones had aluminium bonnets. Yes, yeah. Yeah, the early ones did. So they, they're quite sought after because they get damaged and people buy steel ones. Yeah, yeah. If you've got an early car, it should have an early, it should have an alloy bonnet. So up to, from memory, 67, 68, something like that. Oh, wow, okay. So not just the really early ones. No. So has yours got an alley bonnet? Yeah. Yay. Yeah. There we go. Right, we're going to have a look under the bonnet of this beautiful red... See MGB. What the we yeah. Oh, it's not a red one. Casa de Rat. Oh, oh, they've had a happy time in here. Oh, lovely. You got gloves on. This is your problem. Free guano. What color is that? Uh. That almost looks like the so citron yellow. I was going to say citron yellow. Yeah. They obviously, couldn't afford to pay the paint the whole car. No. The, um, your, to your delight. The other one is also this colour. Oh, okay. But on all of it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Should we get a socket, see if it turns? Well, we might as well. So the story is, this car was given to the person who lived here, who sadly has now passed away, and they pushed it into the garage, took the wheels off and put it on bricks, and that seems to have been the limit of their involvement with the car. 
Now it isn't going to turn. Well, the water pump's locked up, so oh. it doesn't look good. I need to turn the fan blade and I can't. Yeah, I don't think they're keen on moving. Oh no, that's very solid. You might want some gloves before you touch them, Yeah, good point. Mm. Poor old ratty, he's not going to be happy. I'm going to go with nope. No, so uh, I don't think we're going to be driving it onto the trailer. <laughs> but uh, with the pads out, the wheel now turns this well. That's with no pads at all, so uh, still a bit crusty. So we've got the fun at the moment of uh, trying to jack it up while it's on a really wobbly pile of bricks. Yay! We've got the front wheels on, so we have actually got some actual rubber on the ground. The rear hubs seem to be rotating. Yeah, they didn't park it very straight, did they? It's been sat here with that broken front door uh, for a while, I think, judging by the state of it. Is the other one this, Rusty? Um, not exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, the other one's had bad sill repair. Uh-huh. But it's not quite bad. The other one's GT. The garage is slightly better than this one. Okay. Well, there we go. She's down. She's on um, her wheels for the first time in... Um, well, at least a decade, we think. Well, the tax disc there says 97. Oh, gosh. Probably quite a bit longer than 10 years, then. Well, by how locked and how crispy it is, I'd say that's a good shot. Yeah. Oh, well. Now, we don't really want to push it out because uh, because of that lot. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> we could try and give her a gentle pull, I suppose. Moving. Yeah, I think what's mostly holding it is all the crap on the back of it. Mm. Oh, there goes the rubbish. Here she comes. We might need to move it all forward, actually. Yeah, yeah. Blinking into the sunlight. You should be up there, little wiper. There we go. Fixed it. Yeah, very fetching hard top. You can see the fixings for the roof on the side there. The bigger late one, you get these vinyl seats with the head restraints. This is going to be lovely to drive behind. I'm hoping you're looking forward to this. Yeah, I'm going to give you a long, long bit of distance, I think. I don't think I'm going to follow too close. There's going to be a lot of rat proof and dust heading your way. I might go ahead of you even. That might be the better idea. Jeepers, poor thing. Uh, unfortunately, we will not be saving this midget. It has dissolved. And here is the second garage. Oh, it's got spotlights and everything. Another door that looks like it will decapitate us. Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks like citron yellow. A very, very 70s shade. Oh, it's got the rare single wiper conversion. More dust. More dust, yeah. Oh gosh, you're ripe. Yeah. The camera can see better than I can. Yeah, the, the rear quarter wings are bad. Although, underneath looking at like the, the chassis Another rails wheel. and the floors aren't too bad. Yeah, yeah, oh, spare grill. Yeah, there's quite a lot of spares in here. Um, Gosh. there's an engine there, but almost certainly seized. Gearbox there. Blimey, good old tins of teacup. That's all it needs, quick buff. Unfortunately, the magnet grill is the one thing I can't take. It's about the one thing that's... <laughs> this has actually got one of my favourite grills for the MGB. Oh, the I black honeycomb. The bonnet open, oh. There's another one over here though. Yeah, most people replace them with all chrome. But this is, the, the first kind of redesigned grill didn't have a badge here. 
which didn't match the bonnet pressing. So you had the bonnet pressing to match a badge that no longer existed, but then they facelifted it again. Oh, handbrake's off, she'll roll straight out. Have you looked at the tyres? Okay, the tyres may need work. Oh, this was being used recently enough to have mini lights fitted then. Why does everyone fit mini lights? Keep it dry or something, but it just made houses for rodents. Where's that paper from? Oh, yeah, I did look last time I was here, I think. 2002. Okay, so more recent, but still over 20 years ago. This one's all the same colour. Yeah, even even though it's a horrible colour. <laughs> yeah. In my opinion. Anyway. Is it nibbled through? Mm. One of the HT leaves? Or has it just fallen off? Oh, that's right in the side. Nice. Lightning, uh, lightning, lightning, lightning hoses. Lightning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, pour a bit of petrol in, off we go. Yeah, you no. can drive it. To, uh, you know, oh, thank it's, you. It's got servo brakes. So oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. We've got her on the car trailer. Strapping down, continuing now. And uh, now we can see how delightful the interior is. Oh, I can't open it much more. Someone's put a wheel arch in the way. It's uh, quite considerably crispy in here. The gear lever shows no inclination to move. Probably 107,000 miles on the clock. And uh, still got the uh, overdrive switch over this side to boost your cruising. So yeah, it's a bit, a bit minging in here. There are no batteries. Uh, weirdly, the MGB uses two six volt batteries to create its 12 volts. You've got to have a look in the boot. It's got to be done. Uh, there is a spare. It is not much use to anyone. There is um, a well-eaten manual, a head gasket set, and some aromas. There's, um, there's some botulism in here, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, something's been merrily living in here. Head gasket, sure that'll work. Ew, a black wiper blade. Well, that won't match. Mm. So there appears to be a boot floor in here still. Bit crispy at the back. Huh? Oh yeah, less than ideal. No petrol, alas. If there was, it's um, now varnish. It'd be classic. And again, more evidence of the citron yellow. This is obviously quite a cheap um, paint job. There we go, MG Midget windscreen. So this this was the house. Oh, jeepers. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that was hoarding a little bit. There's a classic cooker over there, look at that. Next to a very rusty MGB bonnet. Like I say, this has been abandoned for quite some time. We are at journey's end. There is a static caravan for Miss Hubnut, but uh, we're hoping we can get the uh, trailer up here. It's a little bit uneven, not coming across on camera. But uh, hopefully we can back it up and the two cars can sit side by side up here. I'm not going to video his reversing, that's just cruel. And there we go. Um, we've had the cat scan. What, what do you think, Pussycat? Are you impressed with the MGB? No, not really. You're very curious. Does it smell of mice? Right, we've got a lovely um, tide mark suggesting there has been some work on the sills. But what's it actually like underneath? Yeah. Crispy, I'm going to say. Uh, we had to rip the exhaust off before we left. Look, the boot floor's got some signs, but yeah. It may be parts, it may be a brave restoration. After all, you can get everything. It's just obviously... The, the castle sections are all there and okay. Okay. It's like, it's had, the outer sills have been not done very nicely. No. But it, from what I remember seeing before, the, the floors and the inner sill is okay. Yeah. So, you know, perfectly restorable. It's just whether someone wants to do it. Whether it's, it's not economically viable for me. No. Because I've got paying work otherwise in the workshop. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. 
Oh, it's the safety strap. So there we go. First one has landed, the window not Can't cooperating ever so much. Lovely doggo alert. But yeah, I, I mean, it may be a parts car, it may be a brave restoration. If you fancy a brave restoration, then let Tim know. Uh, Cambrian Classics Limited is the YouTube channel and is all over the socials as well. Right, quick break for lunch and then we go and grab the GT. Well, we are back um, with the uh, crusty MGs. The red one has been deposited. We've grabbed some lunch and are now trying to get the uh, citron yellow one out. Uh, again, completely seized brakes, utterly dead tires. I did actually get a bit of air into that one, but um, not very much. Quite the flat spot, I'm gonna say. That'll probably vibrate a bit. Yeah, yeah. So we'll get the pads out again. Hope we get as lucky with the back end and uh, job might be a good one. So I've just done an online check on the reg number and it, uh, the tax ran out in May 2001. It has not been taxed since. So uh, that's probably how long it's been sitting in here. That's uh, quite a few years. It is considerably grotty. But, look at the wings and everything. It doesn't actually look too bad. Got some scabby bits on the tailgate. I mean, that's standard stuff, isn't it? Oh yeah, maybe this one isn't too bad. Bit of rock creeping in the trailing edge of the roof. Silcox Austin Rover at some point and it celebrated MG's Jubilee in 1998 and then came off the road not a long time afterwards. So the question is, does this one want to turn after 23 years parked up? Uh, that'll be a no. Nope. Try soaking the bores, but probably not gonna be nice in there. No. Now, the focus of today's activity is very much to get them away so this place can be sold, redeveloped, whatever. But yeah, this, this seems in pretty nice condition, really. Let's check the scuttle. Yeah, a bit creeping into the seams, as you'd expect, tops of the doors. But it certainly doesn't look bad. Yeah, it's had a bit of suspect sill welding. Oh, yeah, low, low, lower part of the rear wing, maybe not quite so good. Yeah, I think this was probably a loved car at some point. It's all manner of bits and bobs as well. Oil cooler, door handles, and the late one, just like the Allegro. Lever arm dampers. Uh, coil springs, variously. Uh, dynamo, I think, or starter motor. And uh, spare clocks, as well as old tins of tea cut coca-cola that's dated 2001 wow this stuff has been sitting here for a very long time after much walloping one pad has come out and the brakes are still seized oh it's thoroughly seized yeah. The front the, one's easier because you can get to the pad better. Yeah, the rear, the rear brakes might be um, interesting. Mm. Look at that, here she comes. Down onto her wheels. Two wheels. Yeah, not the wheels she originally had. If anyone wants some knackered mini lights, let us know. I suppose I could talk a bit about what the MGB actually is. I've got a, a test and a track session of an MGB on the channel, but uh, they sold over half a million of them, quite a lot of them in America, and uh, they were briefly very, very popular cars. The problem is they just didn't update them. So uh, introduced in 1962, production finally petered out in 1980, I think. And that was the end of the Abingdon Works where they were built. These cars get quite a slating from uh, a lot of people, but uh, 
they're actually good fun to drive. They were never the most advanced, they were never the most exciting, but somehow uh, MG made the 1.8 litre B series engine sound phenomenal through um, things like the air filters and uh, the exhaust. So they're a proper rorty fun car to drive. Now that is a flat tire. Look at the state of that. Blimey. We have a side quest. What is in the roses tin? I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get in. It is um, quite rusty. Aha! Uh, some seals and wiper spindles. Oh, what we have in there? Some random seals. Might be a bit hard, but look. Wheel bearings? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're re rear wheel bearing kits. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Worth having. Sadly, no chocolate. Okay. okay. Well, here we go then. We are um, testing the towing capacity of the Volvo XC70. Yeah, she's coming. She's just hitting the bump now. She... Oh, whoa, 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 well done. You got stick right in the wheel. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's coming. Oh, that was an interesting noise. Well, she's out, so we can have a bit of an assess. And uh, floors, it seems to have them. Rear battery box area. And yes, you can just see straight out down the bottom, the seat all pulled out to give access to the battery box. Uh, Timmy's now setting about removing the steering column. We were about to get it out on the road and unfortunately the steering lock came on. Patsy Klein, 20 greatest hits in the cassette player. Wow, we'll leave that just there. I wonder what other did oh. like to hiding in here. They're actually, they're not even tight, they're finger tight. Someone's oh, there changed, we are. Changed the column lock, but not done the bolts up. Yeah, we've got this old steering wheel as well. Yeah, that's off that midget pile, I would say. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah, that's the shear bolt. They never did it up enough to shear then head off the... Oh, well, that's convenient. Yeah. Convenient for us. Otherwise, how on earth were we going to get it out? But yeah, oh, bits falling off as you slam the door is never a great sign. But if you're having to replace the panel, it doesn't matter how much that panel is rusty. I don't know what state things are in yeah. underneath. Oh, flaky old um, fuel tank down there. Thanks. Check the exhaust on this one. Actually attached. So there we go. Two MGBs have been liberated from where they have been slumbering for at least 20 years. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling about them now? I can see more rust now they're not in a garage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this one is um, yeah, yeah. pretty bad. It is, yeah. It's had some nasty repairs down the bottom there. Yeah. But oh, all, all doable if someone felt the need. Yeah, yeah. Well, we may well yet. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to have a look, see what the, the chassis rails and the floors are like. And yeah, yeah. It's all out of body panels. It's, not, it's really not that difficult, but. Okay. I don't know. It may just be a parts donor, we'll see. Yeah, okay. Well, we'll maybe see. we'll do a follow at one point and see what's going on with them. But that's us for this one. We, we have checked. They're both seized, unfortunately, so no running action today. But nonetheless, they are saved. They haven't just gone for scrap. Uh, that could so easily be done. Families just want stuff gone and stuff goes straight down the breaker's yard. So uh, at least at the very worst case, bits will help other MGBs live on. So uh, thanks, Tim, for inviting me along yeah, today. no problem. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in a future video. Farewell. Yeah, don't poke, folks. Don't poke.